Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how to select uh, different parameters or different indexes and different lists uh, while creating a particular condition uh, on Traitron. All right. So uh, most of the times what happens is sometimes clients get uh, confused whether if they want to select a spot index or a future index, then how do we do that? And also if there is a, uh, the, a list of stocks that they want to uh, select while checking the conditions on, on those list of stocks, then uh, how to do that in, in, in the condition builder. So that's what we're going to see in this particular video. All right. So, so the agenda we, for the video is this following 10 points. So we will navigate through each and every point one by one and we will see how to solve that issue. All right. So first of all, uh, the first point is how to select nifty spot index for condition check. So let's see how to do that. So first of all, I will go to uh, strategies create. I'll just put selecting index index and stocks and I'll just simply just first of all, create this demo strategy. All right. <clears throat> so once we have created it, let me just go to set number one to illustrate an example of how to uh, how to basically select the Nifty Spot Index for condition check. So for example, if I just click on Add, if I want to check if the five minute candle of the Nifty Spot Index is above a certain value, then how do I do that? So I will just select say position close. Minus one. All right. So I will just select five minute as the as the candle time frame, and I will just zoom in a little bit so that it is more uh, clear for you. And uh, in this instrument name, right? So this is where the most of the people get stuck. So we will address this issue now. So uh, if you, if I want to select Nifty Spot Index, right? So once you click on instrument name, first of all we have to select NFO because it's F, you know. Uh, it's index uh, over here we will select NFO then over here uh, here we will have the option to select nifty NFO nifty 50 so this is what you have to select in order to uh, basically select a nifty spot index so you don't have to select any kind of expiry or any other parameters as long as you want to check the condition on nifty spot index so once I click on ok you will see that this is how it will look all right so uh, position close instrument name NFO nifty five minute minus one is suppose greater than number say 17,000. All right. So assuming this is the nifty value. So if you, this, this is what, what you want to check on nifty spot index. So then this is how you select nifty spot. So NFO nifty 50 will select nifty spot index. Now, if you want to select nifty future, so how do you do that? So for that, we will create another condition. So I will just simply copy this and I will put one condition over here and I will select one more. All right. So this is for nifty spot. So in order to change this to futures, what we will do is we will click on instrument name and I will simply select at the bottom. If I go, I will have the option for current month. Now over here, if I select current month, then this particular, uh, uh, condition will check uh, this particular condition on nifty futures all right so this condition the first one will be checking on spot index the second one since we have selected current month as the expiry then that means that we have selected nifty future over here so that's what it means uh, in case of uh, selecting nifty 50 future all right uh, here you cannot select nifty uh, 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 cannot select the expiry as current week because that will be wrong because uh, the future expiry is always on a monthly basis if you are selecting uh, say a particular call or a put option then in that case it will be basically uh, 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 you can select current week and then you can select uh, the instrument name that you want all right so we will see that also so let's see uh, if I want to check a condition on a particular uh, call option all right so what I will do is I will just simply select this particular portion and I want to select ATM say nifty 50 call so what I will do is I will select uh, instrument name so NFO nifty bank in this case instead of current month I will select say current week all right so this is the expiry and then after that it will ask me whether I want to select check the condition on a call or a put option so let's select call option and after that, it will automatically tell us the uh, expiry that we, we probably want to select. So in this case, if I want to select say ATM or any other strike that you want to particularly check the condition on, then you can select that. So for now, I will just select ATM 
and it will also give us the option to select the expiry. So if you want to check the condition on next week expiry, then you can select this as one. So if you don't select anything, uh, uh, if you don't, if you want to select basically the current week, then keep this as blank. All right, don't select a zero or don't put anything over here. Keep this as blank. Just let it be like this and it will automatically select the current week call ATM or ATM call option of the current week. All right. If you want to select next week call option, so then in that case, you can select say one. If you want to select next to next week, then it will be basically two. But ideally, we don't go that far in expiry. So either current week, then let it be blank. And if it's the next week, then you can select one as the expiry. All right. And then after that, uh, uh, also, if you want to select the different strike. So, for example, if you want to select uh, uh, two strikes OTM, right? So this will be this will be ATM and two strikes away from that would be basically two from here. So from for call option, it will be for OTM, it will be two from here. And if you want it in the money, then it will be minus two. All right. Two strikes in the money. If it's minus one, if you want just one strike uh, uh, in the money, then it will be minus one. And if it is, if you want one strike out of the money, then it will be plus one. All right. So if you select this and click on OK, this is how it will look. All right. So I will just change this right now. I will just remove this and I will show you how it will look. So over here, what it means is that <coughs> we are selecting this uh, condition that we are checking the close price of a five minute candle of this particular call option. So over here, this is the nifty current week, nifty 50 call option. So that's how we can select a condition check on a particular uh, uh, a strike of a particular index. All right. And then you can put whatever condition you want. For example, if you want to check that the price is uh, over, say, maybe uh, maybe 150 or something like that. All right. So you can put that or you can put your uh, crossover condition or anything of that sort. But you, this is the way to construct that particular uh, option. All right. <clears throat> so first we saw uh, how to check for nifty 50 spot index then we saw for uh, how to check for nifty 50 futures this is by selecting current month and if you want to select a particular option that is whether the call option or a put option then basically you can use this construction uh, also at the same time uh, uh, let me tell you that if it's call then uh, the otm will be if it's call then otm will be say plus two for call option and minus two for and minus two for in the money uh, call option all right and if it's put option, then it will be exactly the opposite. So if you want to go uh, in the money for the put, then it, in that case, it will be basically uh, <clears throat> two over here in the money. And if it's out of the money for the put option, then it will be minus two. All right. So this is what you have to remember while selecting a particular call and put option for the condition check. All right. So let me just cancel this for now. So this is how we select uh, these three conditions. All right. So now the first part uh, we have already covered. So this is how we checked the nifty spot index. We also discussed this, how to select nifty futures index. Now let's move to the third point. That is how to select bank nifty spot index. So it's also very simple. So similarly, as we have selected nifty 50, what we have to do is it under NFO list NFO nifty 50 over here, just below that you will also find NFO nifty bank. All right. So this is basically, uh, this basically will select NFO nifty bank will select the nifty bank spot index. So if I click on OK, okay then this is basically the condition. So I will just change this number to say maybe 35,000 since that is the current uh, uh, bank nifty index value, right? So if I want to check that the five minute candle uh, close price is above 35,000 for a nifty bank spot index, then in that case, we will have to select this particular option of NFO nifty bank. All right. And if I want to select a future of nifty bank uh, in that case, uh, it will be similar to how we did for Nifty uh, 50. So what we will do is we will just select this over here. I will just put it over here <coughs> and I will change this instrument name and I will select the expiry. So once I select the expiry, uh, say current month and click on OK, that means that uh, we have selected uh, the future for condition check. So this will ch check conditions on the Nifty Bank future and this will check condition on Nifty Bank spot. All right. The next is if I want to select a, a particular call option or a put option for a nifty bank. So in that case, it will be similar to how we did earlier. So in that case, what I will do is I will just put it over here. I will select current week similar to this. I will select say maybe call option 
and I can select ATM which will be there at the bottom and similar to how we are selected for uh, uh, Nifty 50, you can select either the expiry or the OTM or in the money according to uh, how we discussed earlier. So that is how we select uh, select the call option or a put option for condition check on, on a Nifty bank. All right. So uh, right now we have covered two main points. First is uh, this three points we covered Nifty uh, bank Nifty spot index as well as bank Nifty futures index. Now let's move to how to select Nifty 50 stocks list. All right. <coughs> yeah. Uh, so in this case, uh, let me just, uh, I, I was getting a call. I will just, yeah. All right. So uh, the next point is <coughs> how to select a list of Nifty 50 stocks for condition check. So what we do in this case is <coughs> we go to a condition builder. So over here, what we will do is in order to, uh, I will just uh, first of all remove this and uh, we will create a new condition, all right. So position close minus one, all right, <coughs> Simba, I will select five minutes as the a candle for the list of stocks and if I want to select list then in that case stocks list what we will do is we will select NSE so remember that uh, if it's a cash uh, stocks list that we have to create then we have to select NSE as the as the uh, instrument in this case alright and uh, <coughs> if it's FNO then we will select uh, NFO and since this is cash stocks what we will do is we will select nifty 50 nifty 50 but over here, as we see, uh, we will have the option to not se to select uh, list Nifty 50. So this is what we have to select while uh, checking the conditions on list of Nifty 50 stocks. If you select NFO Nifty 50, then in that case, it will basically refer to uh, this thing. It will not give you the option right now because we have selected NSE over here. But if you select NFO, right, then it will give you the option of NFO Nifty 50. NFO Nifty 50. All right. So see over here you see NFO Nifty 50 but uh, in this case since we want to select NSE list of 50, Nifty 50 stocks that's the reason why we will have to select list Nifty 50 all right. So once you select this Nifty 50 you don't have to select an expiry or anything because obviously for cash market there will be no expiry all right. So I will just select this. So how to identify whether you have selected list or NFO Nifty 50 uh, is you can see over here. So whenever you select the list, right, you will see this vertical lines in front of after this comma, you will see this vertical line before Nifty 50. And at the end also, you will find this uh, vertical line. So this vertical line when, it, uh, when it's uh, surrounding uh, Nifty 50 on both sides, it means that you have selected the list for Nifty 50 stocks. All right. Similarly, if you want to select say bank Nifty, <coughs> then in that case, Nifty bank. So this is bank Nifty. And if I select OK, then as you can see over here, it will be basically Nifty 50 bank. Uh, for better understanding, let me just uh, create another condition over here. So that will be better. So Nifty 50 less Nifty 50. And uh, this is, uh, so, so as you can see over here, so this is basically it will select 30 stocks of bank Nifty index that we have. And this condition will be checked on list of Nifty 50 stocks. So earlier we saw how to select spot and future. And this is basically for the stocks list that we want to check conditions on. All right. So this is how we select basically the list of stocks. So make sure that whenever you uh, create a condition, if you see this vertical lines, that means you would have selected the list and it's not the NFO or the futures uh, stock that you might sometimes need. So you have to be careful in, uh, in basically understanding what this means. All right. So uh, yeah, so this is how it works. So next point, how to select Nifty 50 stocks and we also saw how to select a uh, list of bank Nifty stocks. Now let's just see how to create a custom stocks list for cash equity trading. All right. <clears throat> so yeah. So over here in this case, uh, I'll just close this. All right. Uh, again, I'll just <clears throat> go to the set number condition. 
and over here if you want to create a list of your own stocks right so then for cash stocks trading so what you can do is you can just click on this three dots and you can click on add so uh, adding will let you create a name and then uh, you can basically use that list for your uh, strategy conditions so once i click on this so you will have the option to name the list that you are trying to create so i will just type say uh, uh, trending stocks trending stocks july all right and in this case what i will have to do is i will have to select the exchange <clears throat> so if you want to create a list on for cash equity market then you have to select nse and if you want to create a list that you want to trade in fno then you have to select nfo so first of all i will select nse for cash stock market all right and then cash stocks and then after this i will select certain stocks that i want so for example if i want tcs tcs then i will select tcs and click on add it will get added similarly i will select on tata motors Tata Motors, I will click on add, I will select maybe Infosys, Infi and I will select maybe uh, Reliance, alright. So once I add this and if I save it, then automatically this list will be saved, alright, list created successfully and I will, I can close it. Now, if I have already created this particular list, you will see that it has come at the bottom, all right, trending stocks July. Now we will see how to select this list while uh, uh, creating a particular condition. So I will just click on add, so position, close, minus one, all right. So similarly, as we did earlier, we will select say first five minute candle. And I will click on instrument name. I will select NF, uh, sorry, NSC since it is stocks. And I will select the list that we just created. So if I go to the bottom, I will see that list has been created, right? So this is the trending stocks July. This is the stock list that we created. And I will click on OK. So as you can see, since this is a stock list, there is a vertical line in uh, front and at the end. And this is the stock list that we have created. And this is how we select the particular stock list to check the condition. So this is how you cannot just uh, select only Nifty and Bank Nifty stocks, but you can create your own list as well. And you can select that for your stocks uh, for, uh, uh, for condition check purposes. All right. So after this, <coughs> uh, so once you've done this, right. So uh, let me just close it. So one thing you will notice over here is that once you created a list and if you want to take the position this is for the condition check part right so this is where you're checking the conditions but what if you also want to based on this if condition is met you want to take trade in the same uh, less in the position builder so then in that case what you can ideally do is instead of just uh, keeping this list is blank what you can do is you can do go to the bottom and you can uh, select this particular list over here so if you select this trending stocks july as the list name in set number then what will happen is it will automatically select this NSE exchange. It will select the stocks. You it will select a list as well, and it will automatically uh, let you select the quantity that you want of each particular or uh, that you want to buy of each particular uh, uh, of share in the list. All right. So that is how you can select this particular list over here. And at the same time, if you, for example, if you want to uh, check the conditions on this list. But if you want to take a trade in some other stocks or maybe just random uh, particular only a particular stock instead of this particular entire list, then in that case, you will find that this this is already selected now. Right. So if you remove this set name over here, if I make this to uh, no list selected, then what will happen is that it will basically go off. So over here you will be again, again able to select whichever stock you want. So if I want to, based on the condition check on the list, if I want to just select say, uh, if I want to trade on say, RT drugs, all right, by checking the condition on other stocks. Uh, uh, it depends on what kind of strategy that you're trying to build, but you have the option to do this. So, and then you can just select whichever stock you want and it will allow you to uh, add that particular stock. But if you select a list over here, then you cannot make any modifications in the position builder because it will automatically be selecting only that list that you have uh, selected in the set uh, in the set name all right so you have to be uh, aware of this and uh, be informed of this so that you can accordingly uh, build your strategy all right so this is how uh, this particular part works so we saw how to custom uh, stocks how to create custom stocks list 
and uh, we will also see now how to create a customs FNO list. All right. So we will go to this page again over here. Now, if I want to select, uh, if I want to create a list, then again, I will click on add. I will say select uh, trending stocks July FNO. All right. And in that case, now if you if you want to select FNO stocks list and if you want to trade in FNO, then in that case, you have to select the exchange as NFO. All right. So instead of NSE, as we did earlier, you have to select NFO. And then after that, you can select your stocks list. So for example, I can just uh, again type and say uh, maybe Tata, Tata Coffee or TATA. We'll select some other stock of maybe Tata Steel. All right. So I will just add Tata Steel in this list. Uh, maybe uh, Apollo Hospitals and uh, another stock I will select maybe uh, Rain Industries. All right. So once I've selected this, then I will just simply click on save. All right. So as if as as we can see, this is the NFO list that has been selected now, and uh, we can close this. All right. So at any point in time, if you want to modify, you can add and you can view also and uh, change also if you want. So that is how uh, it can be done. So then after this, what I will do is. So this was for the stocks, right? So if I want to select for the NFO, then what I will do is I will just simply maybe copy this condition and I will change this. So over here now I will select NFO, all right? And I will select the list that I created for FNO. So now over here, if you can see, this is basically the list of FNO that stocks that we have selected. Now one issue that, that, that we face over here is that if you select a list of FNO stocks, it's important that you select the expiry as well. Because or else it will check basically condition will be checked on uh, this thing, right? So if you want to select futures, then in that case, we have to select the expiry also. But if you select a list of stocks over here, then it will not let you select the expiry. So in this case, there is a hack that you have to use. So what you have to do is, first of all, you can just go to say maybe any random stock you can select for now, say RT Industries. And then after that, over here, you will see the option has come up again in order to select the expiry. All right. So if you select a list, I will show you again that this pop up, the expiry pop up will not come. But if you want to select, uh, if you select some any random stock over here, maybe Abbott or anything, this uh, expiry month, uh, this option will uh, will pop up. So you can select the current month because there is no current week expiry for op uh, stock options. So I will select current month over here. And now since this current month is selected, now it will give us the option to uh, now we will go back and select uh, this particular list. All right. So once we have selected this list uh, and I will click on OK, that means uh, right now we have selected the stocks uh, of this particular uh, 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 of FNO trading by selecting uh, the expiry as well. So this will check condition on the futures uh, chart of this particular stocks. All right. This will check conditions on the spot chart, right? That is cash market. This will select, uh, select uh, the conditions and check the conditions on the futures chart of the stock of the stock of the stocks that you selected in this particular list. All right. I will just click on uh, this particular option. And then based on that, once you select a list, you can uh, say, uh, trade whichever stock option or a call, call or put option that you want based on that particular index. All right. So that is how it's uh, it's it's very simple to create this. Just that you need to be aware of how to use this particular options that we have in order to create the condition. All right. So we also checked custom stocks list cash equity, uh, custom stocks list FNO uh, and how to select expiry also in for FNO stocks list that also we saw right because earlier uh, uh, it by default it doesn't give us the option to select the expiry but uh, once we select an individual stock it will allow us to select the expiry as well. Uh, yeah, so we check this point also that how to not select a list name in set name to avoid default selection in position builder. So as we saw earlier, uh, once you uh, if you don't select the list name over here, if you don't select a list name, then automatically you can select uh, you will it will give you the option to select whichever individual stock or list uh, uh, that you want uh, over here. But if you select a particular list, if I select this particular list over here, then you will be able to only take position in, in that particular list that you have selected. All right. So I hope this is helpful and I hope this is clear. I believe uh, the reason why I'm creating this video is because uh, we have seen clients getting stuck over here. Uh, there is a uh, there is an error in uh, syntax coding because of which this particular uh, error arises and uh, the strategy might not work properly. So once we have created this video, I believe that you will be able to uh, uh, properly use the syntax and accordingly create your strategy. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Yeah. Bye bye.